In 2020, California, along with the rest of the world, faced an unfamiliar virus that changed the way we live, work, and play, while the California wildfires threatened our lives, homes, businesses, and wildlife. The more than 30,000 people who work for the departments and offices of the California Health and Human Services Agency played a key role in strengthening California's ability to safeguard the health and well-being of all Californians. We rose to the challenge of coordinating a robust statewide response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We focused on testing and building capacity to process hundreds of thousands of tests per day. We conducted contact tracing to help slow the spread. And now we're overseeing vaccinations to help end the pandemic. We secured hotel rooms for thousands of healthcare workers and first responders, ensuring that we took care of those who took care of us. We supported the most vulnerable among us by ramping up efforts to ensure older Californians stayed safe and connected during the pandemic. We delivered more than 21 million meals to nearly 40,000 people with help from hundreds of food providers across the state, all while developing a 10-year strategy for creating an age-friendly California where older adults can thrive. At a time when having health care is crucial, we expanded coverage to young adults regardless of immigration status. Through Project Room Key, we secured hotel and motel rooms for more than 23,000 individuals experiencing homelessness during the pandemic and are now helping participants transition to permanent housing. In partnership with nonprofit community organizations, we coordinated the delivery of $75 million in direct assistance to 150,000 undocumented immigrants who lost jobs or wages during the pandemic. And we issued food benefits to millions of California school children who lost access to free and reduced cost school meals when campuses closed. In 2020, we grew stronger through our response to the COVID-19 pandemic from providing ventilators to hospitals in need to supporting emergency medical missions throughout the state. Our battle with COVID-19 continues, but we will get through this together.